Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome to another video. I'm really pressed for time this time around, so this might be a one part, two part kind of thing. Alright, so what I really want to do, I've actually wanted to revisit for a while, is warships. Yeah, space warships. Um, goodness gracious, man I'm tired. Oh, they're pushing me, they're pushing me at work. They are pushing me, they're pushing me hard. Woo! In order to beat the system, in order to beat the YouTube algorithm, I have to do this every single day. And I will not fail this time. No, I won't. Uh, basically, a uh, space warship uh, actually, is actually pretty detailed. It's, it's not just looks, it's actual functionality. In this case, armor. I mean, we don't have space shields, like Star Trek, so we're going to have to deal with impacts and stuff of this nature. So we're looking at armor, huh? Okay, armor, 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 armor. But first, let's build the uh, the guts of this thing. We're gonna keep it real simple for now. Uh, just like that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just the guts of it. Uh, this will be uh, the dining hall and, you know, the bridge and the mess hall and... Well, mess hall and dining hall, same thing. Uh, s uh, medical and communications, engineering, a whole... Kit and caboodle. And of course behind it, we want to make it, you know, kind of fun. We're going to make it fun instead of, instead of slapping batteries everywhere. We're going to give it like a warp core or like a core, a central engineering spot. Something that gives power to the entire ship. And if it's hit, well, guess what? No more power. You're dead in the water. Okay. So let's see here. Something... Something cool. Something, something cool. Should I go for a buttload of RTGs or a fuel cell array? A fuel cell array, in order for that to work, actually needs liquid oxygen and fuel. So, we're not actually... Mm, we're not... Mm, eh, 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 maybe... You know what I wish it was uh, one of the stock stuff? It'd be like a nuclear reactor. Not just an RTG, but like something, something thick with wires and, and stuff on it. You know, something, something cool, something that kind of looked like one of these things, sort of. But it was a, it was a nuclear reactor. You know, capable of producing some ungodly amount of power. That'd be cool. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm just going to make it kind of look like a V8 engine, and then we're going to put some serious RTGs in here. There we go. That looks pretty cool, huh? Maybe we'll just put these in the middle. All right, there we go. Ooh, that actually looks really cool. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we need a uh, fuel. Now for a warship, you want your fuel to be compartmentalized. So if by chance you get one blown up, you still got a couple more you can run off of. And we're gonna go for a nuclear engine. So we're gonna go for liquid fuel. I don't know. Let me try this. Ooh. Yeah, not what I'm looking for. All right, there we go. Cool. Now we're going to need segments, which are basically strong points. And uh, I think I'm going to redo this real quick. So briefly, what strong points are are it's kind of like a it's kind of like a rib cage. If you get hit in one spot or another spot, it helps uh, keep the actual structure from warping too much, which could cause more damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and painstakingly go through all of these and auto strut every single one. A lot of you might say something about, oh, well, you want rigid attachments to be off so it can, you know, be uh, able to absorb better. Well, yes and no, because um, we don't want to absorb everything as much as we want to deflect it. Absorbing is nice. Deflecting's better. So the armor is not going to be designed to absorb anything. It's going to be designed to deflect it. So far, so good. Uh, we may even take this off because this will be the housing area for uh, torpedoes and then the housing area for engines. In order to save part count, we're going to do something like this and we'll just bring it on in. All right, nice. That'll work. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> four three. Wow, we're uh, four thousand three hundred delta V. We are losing delta V pretty damn fast. All right. So for this type of uh, vehicle or this type of warship, we are going to go ahead and just give it four weapon mounts for now, 
and uh, maybe in the future we'll upgrade that to more than four but for now all i have time for is four okay so four weapon mounts you know i just thought of something this this little this little uh, um this little re-entry module holds three kerbals and it's perfect for like an escape pod right holds three little kerbals in it and it's perfect for an escape pod so I think the weapons bay in this particular design will serve two purposes. It'll not only serve as a weapons bay, but also as a launch bay for an escape pod. All right, we need the parachute. Okay, we'll give it a little SRBs to get it up and going. I don't know how effective that's gonna be, but some sort of maneuverability. What's in here? Mm, there's no fuel in here at all. Oh dear. Okay, uh, some form of maneuverability would be appreciated. Okay, and we're going to need some fuel. Those are some really big space balls right there. I didn't, hmm. Has 22 and 18? They're almost the same size. How does this have, like, half of that? How does two of these equal one of these? Two of these equal one of these. Huh? Now these are the kind of solar panels that once they're once they're extended, they stay extended. Which makes sense. It's an ex it's an escape pod, right? So it's meant to do one thing good and one thing only. So once these are extended, that's it. So as soon as it enters a planet's atmosphere or gets rescued, the escape pod is literally tossed. See now we got these big fat metal Structural panels with uh, ooh, tolerance of 80 impact. Nice. Now comes the beauty factor. So it's pretty well armored. If it gets hit, it should deflect most of it. But, well, that sucks. We're going to have to, we're going to have to use smaller panels so that we can uh, match the wing surfaces and do this right. <laughs> oh, this is so painful. I actually did. Yes. Yes. I remember. It's all coming back to me now. I actually did this. Okay. So that's how I actually did armor. So basically, if it got hit from the top, it would bow down a little bit. But if it got hit right in the middle, you'd have a lot of structural stability. And it would almost want to puncture through the actual torpedo, helping deflect it. Alright, looking good. <clears throat> the outer shell rib cage is finished. Uh, but I do have some gripes about it, like this thing poking through. The passenger module poking through. Uh, I think what I'll do now is I'll just tw twist this. There we go. And yeah, it's not poking through anymore, so we're good. This is poking through, so I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll grab it and just hold down shift and boop, just like that. Just uh, do that. Come over here. Do that. These damn panels are so freaking big, man. <laughs> the wings can't keep up with it. Uh, uh, okay, how about we do this? New game plan. Shyster. New game plan. Um, even though, yes, uh, a, a wing plus uh, structural panel armor is the best from what I've been able to uh, study. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just make this panel armor for now. Okay, so since we're pretty much out of time for this particular part of the video, we're just gonna go ahead and doll it up a little bit. So more than likely, I'm probably gonna ditch the whole large structural panel idea and go for uh, smaller structural panels. Okay, and of course we need a little, like a little antenna.
Okay, that, that actually looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. I can I can deal with the ooh, wow that actually looks that that's nice. <laughs> that's pretty nice right there. It's uh, I'm not gonna lie, that kinda looks nice right in that in that angle right there. Okay, uh I am all out of time. Let's go ahead and name this uh, name this uh let's see, what did I have last time? What was the name I had last time? Ah, something cool. So this is the, going to be the Beowulf class warship. So ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably grab another piece down here and put it down here. Right? And communications and whatnot. It's going to be on there. It's going to stick out little antennas and whatnot. It's going to look real nice. And uh, then we're going to test out some systems like RCS systems. We're going to put some uh, Vernor reaction wheels and all this other good crap kind of in the middle there I might even go as far as maybe putting some extra fuel tanks somewhere so that we're not at 2500 um, Delta V only it's barely enough to go to another planet so yeah all right work in progress work in progress but it looks it looks cool so uh look forward to part two all right well everyone thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel uh and i'll see you all in the next video bye for now don't forget to share like and subscribe Blah.